Hello boykies, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricardo. And today's question comes from Omar Sen Hedge. And he says, or asks, what's your thoughts on human growth hormone or HGH? A lot of people use that along with TRT. Thanks. Thanks for the question, Omar. Um, so before I begin, for those of you that are looking for really good detailed scientific information about HGH or human growth hormone, this is not the video for you because I'll purely be providing anecdotal uh, experience and uh, feedback based on what I've heard, which isn't much. So if you're looking for that, you probably want to tune out. Um, I'm just going to share my thoughts on what I've heard about it. Right. So up till recently, I hadn't heard much about human growth hormone. Um, I'd heard, you know, the usual stuff that you hear online, people using it in bodybuilding. Uh, you hear a few little things about it, maybe for anti-aging and that. And I really didn't have a clue. So I do what I normally do when I don't have a clue. I start buying books, right? And the first book I bought was this, the, pretty much one of the few that I found online um, by a doctor relating to human growth hormone called Grow Young with HGH by Dr. Ronald Klatz. It's a pretty old book though, so I don't know sort of how valid it is based on the latest research, but it was all that was available, so I bought that. And I haven't finished the book either. I'm a couple of chapters into it, right? But from what I've read, uh, Human growth hormone sounds like a miracle fucking drug. It sounds to me like the fountain of youth. Because, um, especially in older people, let me preface, preface that first. So, it seems like for old people, it's a miracle drug, right? It seems to bring back vitality, energy, strength, health, that kind of stuff. It, it sounds wonderful, especially to an older person. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm obviously very excited to continue reading that book. But um, I have also seen in the testosterone books, the TRT books that I have over there and that I've been reading, that human growth hormone is paired with TRT a lot, right? Now, I'm not quite sure what the sort of uh, the, the effects of human growth hormone or, or how it works exactly, right? I, I know it obviously mimics the human growth hormone in some way, but I'm not sure how that sort of brings on the positive, positive benefits of using it. So I, I can't really comment on that. But like I said, from the books that I've read, and, and it seems to have a lot of anti-aging properties, right? So that's good for you if you're an older guy. And apparently, it gives you a lot more sort of strength and uh, growth, even if you're a younger guy and you use it. Now, I'm the kind of person that, like with TRT, I, I'm very conservative. I don't like to just start uh, experimenting with random substances unless I feel there may be a need for it or a, a, a big advantage to using it to my health. You know, when I say advantage, I don't mean, oh, I can get bigger and stronger beyond my genetic potential. I, I don't want to fuck with my body uh, past what it should be capable of. I want to stay within the healthy ranges of everything. And so... I don't really, you know, experiment with things unless there's a need for them. With testosterone, as you know, I had low testosterone. That's why I got it up to normal levels. Now, I'm not close to the idea. Like maybe in the future, as I get a bit older, doctors might say, you know, especially now in the new uh, set of tests that I'm doing with the doctors for, for my TRT, they might say, hey, you know, we, we see a case here where it could be to your advantage to get you to your optimal levels to pay a little bit of human growth hormone or something else, you know, with your TRT treatment, are you open to it? And maybe I will consider it, but um, I know a lot of professionals are treating guys, when they treat them for TRT, they're giving them human growth hormone as well. So that is a common process and I'm not discounting it, I'm just saying in my case, I just don't see the need for it. I feel great on the TRT alone, um, and I'm happy with how I'm, you know, sort of developing physically and things like that. Sure, could it be better? Yes, but I could also improve my diet if I wanted to. You know, I'm just trying to be a bit more balanced than anything else. Now, HGH or human growth hormone is also very expensive, from what I hear, and TRT treatment on itself is is quite expensive. Now, human, you know, human growth hormone is like another level above that. So, if there's no need for it, and it's only going to offer you know, a certain percentage of an improvement, um, then it doesn't really make a strong case in my personal case for it. But for other people, maybe 
they have a stronger motivation for it and that's why they consider taking HGH. So I know it gets abused a lot by the bodybuilders, especially um, I've heard stories of bodybuilders spending anywhere from ten to $20,000 a month on drugs. So I know, you know, and I, I know the HGH is definitely going to be contributing towards that because from what I've heard and from what I understand, it's one of the more expensive drugs that you get out there. But I'm going to look into this a lot more on my side. Uh, obviously, I'm very inexperienced when it comes to this, but I want to learn a lot more about it. And as I have more time and read into it, I'm definitely going to expand my horizons on it. And as I learn more, I'll start to share that information with you guys here on the channel. But this is predominantly a TRT channel, but we also need to stay sort of up to date and educated about these sort of anti-aging uh, medications and also things that can get you to your genetic optimal levels, right? I'm not interested in things that go beyond that, but anything that can help make us an all well-rounded, healthy guy with a great sense of well-being, feeling good, you know, strong, happy, that type of thing within the natural genetic limits, that's what I'm interested in and that's the kind of information I hope to continue to spread with you guys in the future like human growth hormone. So thanks for the question. I hope my limited answer wasn't too much of an annoyance, but hopefully in future uh, it gets a lot better. And until then, take it easy. Adios.